Good day YouTube. Today I'm just doing a bit of a fun quick comparison video between Ubuntu 22.04 on the left and Fedora 36 on the right. Now starting off, uh, both of these are actually in beta release. They're due to come out roughly about the same time in two or three weeks from now. Uh, now they are actually both based on the, the GNOME desktop environment there as well, which you can see, which is really nice to see in fact. Uh, now, the uh, couple of differences though with the Ubuntu, it is actually the long-term service release. So it's going to be supported for a good five years. Whereas the Fedora 36 release is uh, more of a shorter release. It's only going to be supported for about a year. And then, you know, for instance, Fedora 37, 38, 39 come out there. But you can uh, pretty much with Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release, install once and run it for many, many years to say the least. Now, uh, let's uh, have a little bit of a look at the, the GNOME interface. So it is actually different, even though they are using the same GNOME interface here. So we have uh, probably the main difference of which is the taskbar on the left-hand side for Ubuntu. I like this, I'm a fan of it. In fact, it is my daily driver for my real computer. Whereas uh, Fedora 36 uh, tends to use the more stock version of, uh, of the GNOME desktop environment. So you can just click on activities, and go to the menu and look up for all of those apps that you want. Now they do basically have the same apps. You've got your internet apps, your web browsers, torrent apps, uh, your, your Office, LibreOffice apps, so your open source Office apps, all sorts of things like that. A few games chucked in here and there as well. So a bit of a muchness of a really muchness on those sides of things anyway. Uh, if we were to maybe uh, move across to say the, the file manager, now this will be the same, although you will see that Fedora is using something more of a, a more stock-like interface here. So it's not very pretty, it just is what it is really, but they are both this uh, GNOME files and they are roughly the same version in there as well, 42, okay. Now let's see what else, if we were to take maybe a bit of a smidge of a look under the hood and uh, see what's going on here. So this is where it gets interesting to me. So the kernel for the Ubuntu 22.04 is the 5.15 kernel, whereas Fedora 36 is the 5.17 kernel. So really two jumps difference. Now this isn't a surprise for me because Fedora is effectively the upstream for what is to become Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So they like to use the bleeding edge stuff on Fedora there, uh, which is great if you've got uh, newer hardware, newer laptop, CPU, GPU, Wi-Fi cards, all sorts of things like that. But hey, 15, 5.15 still isn't that bad. It works with all my new hardware for Ubuntu as well. So uh, let's see what else is going on there as well. Maybe in the back end even a bit further. So having a look at the CPU, idling both out at about 5, 10%. Pretty much expected there. And the memory. So using about 800 megabytes of RAM on boot up here for Ubuntu, nothing else is loaded in the background. And the same for Fedora, uh, nothing else loaded in the background, but this is where uh, it starts to diverge because there is 1.12 gigabytes of RAM on boot up. So a decent 300 uh, megabytes more of RAM on boot up. This is uh, pretty interesting to me because they are actually running the, both the GNOME desktop environment. Perhaps this isn't, uh, really completely official because they are both beta releases. Maybe there is, um, I guess, optimization to be done on the back end. I really hope so. But Fedora is uh, on GNOME is really known to be one of the highest uh, RAM usage uh, distros on boot up, just from my experience over the last 10 years. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Just want to keep it uh, simple and safe there for now. But thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.